More evidence about type 2 diabetes remission and how it's absolutely possible and should be the new standard of care in my opinion. I'm Dr. Brett Scher, the medical director at dietdoctor.com, and a new study came out called Epidemiology of Type 2 Diabetes Remission in Scotland in 2019, a cross-sectional population-based study published in PLOS Medicine. And I find this interesting because this was just an observational study. There was no intervention. They weren't purposely striving for remission or remission of type 2 diabetes. They just wanted to see in this one snapshot of the population, how many people did have remission of their type 2 diabetes. And basically what they found, they first they defined remission as A1C less than 6% with no medications for one year, which is not sort of the definition in all studies. And this is one of the problem when we're talking about remission of type 2 diabetes is that different studies define it differently. And we'll get into that um, a little bit more, but that's how they defined it. A1C less than 6% with no medications for one year. Um, and what they found was almost 5% of the population with type 2 diabetes did achieve remission um, in one year. So actually, I got to say that's, that's kind of encouraging for no purposeful intervention, for just observing the population and what's going on. The fact that 5% achieved remission, I guess, is pretty good. Now, of course, we know we can do much better, right? The, um, the Verda Health trial at their two-year mark showed 53% reversal of type 2 diabetes, which they defined as A1C less than 6.5% with no medications except for metformin. And that just shows the um, sort of the mentality of that trial was that metformin is a perfectly fine drug, so why take it off? Um, doesn't cause hypoglycemia, et cetera. So that's why they defined it that way. And then an additional 17% achieved remission, which was less than 6.5%. Uh, with absolutely no medication. So all told, um, 70% had reversal or remission at two years if you add those two together. So uh, obviously we can do a lot better than the 5%. Now, when you look at the 5% in this study out of Scotland, those who had sort of the most mild case of type 2 diabetes um, were more likely to achieve remission. Those who had weight loss greater than 15 kilos were more likely to achieve remission. And those who had bariatric surgery we're more likely to achieve remission. But one word of caution about bariatric surgery, in a previous video, I talked about the SOS study, the, the Swedish obese subject study, um, which was a, a weight loss surgery study. They had a 70% type two diabetes remission at two years, but it went down to 38% at 10 years, which just shows that, that weight loss surgery is a good kickstart for, for diabetes remission, but it's the lifestyle changes that you need to implement to maintain it. And as the Verda Health trial showed, uh, a low carb or ketogenic diet with uh, continuous monitoring is a very effective way of achieving um, type 2 diabetes remission or reversal up to two years. And we'll see, hopefully that holds up to 10 years as well. But I guess the take home from this study, and I've said this before, is that the new goal for type 2 diabetes should be remission in everybody. And uh, it makes sense, right? It makes total sense, but it's it's surprising that the the medical community is sort of slow to adopt this, um, and and because it is hard for people who are hesitant to make lifestyle interventions. But here's one of the problems: if our lifestyle intervention is only eat less, move more, low fat, count your calories, okay, that's people aren't going to enjoy that, and that's doesn't have good long term success for the, the whole population when you just try and, and give it to everybody. But if we can pick and choose who's going to respond better to low carb, who's going to respond better to keto, who's going to respond better to low fat and count your calories, and actually know that we have more tools in our toolkit than just one diet, and actually know that when it comes to exercise, maintaining lean body mass and resistance training is so much beneficial and probably more beneficial than just even aerobic training. The problem is when the guideline says this is what you should do, that everybody says, okay, all the physicians say that's the only thing I'm going to try. But that's, that's not the way to achieve remission. So I guess my plea is for doctors to realize that, you know, a study like this can show 5% um, remission. Then we have other studies showing 53% uh, reversal and 17% remission using a different technique. And the look ahead trial um, which was a trial using exercise and calorie counting, low fat, didn't come near these numbers for, uh, for remission and reversal. So knowing we have more tools in our toolkit. So 
uh, I, I, I guess I'm appealing to clinicians and physicians out there to realize that and for, for the average person to bring this information to their doctor and say, look, um, you're telling me to change my lifestyle this way, but what about these studies showing uh, even better remission of type 2 diabetes? Because that should be the new goal. All right, hopefully this wasn't too rambling, but I, I feel pretty passionate about this, that uh, all of medicine has to reframe how we see type 2 diabetes and encourage every patient to put their disease into remission. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you next time here on uh, Diet Doctor News on YouTube.